Hello, I'm Camille Acosta, and welcome to Red Style. I'm here today with Jamie Brace, who's the lead singer of a blues band called October Soul. You want to share with me how you guys came up with October Soul? That's a in very interesting name. Yeah, um, absolutely. Actually, it's because we started in October, and I was thinking of it as like five, we have five, a five-piece band, so it's five souls coming together in... Uh, October. So that's where that actually came from. I, I was thinking of the five people becoming one with all of our music and we, you know, bring, each of us have our own uh, characteristics and our own uh, thoughts about what is happening musically. And so it was just kind of a cool little, you know, little thing to piece it together. That's where October Soul came from. And you're from up in the La Couture Ojibwe Reservation in northern Wisconsin. How did you get into blues music? Uh, actually, I first started out with country. That's what I liked before. And uh, my boyfriend, Jason, loves blues. And so just by what happens in life when you meet somebody new and they start playing different things for you and you kind of catch on, and that's where it came from, actually. And then I learned all kinds of cool history about where all music comes from and that it all stems from blues. I mean, everything, rock, country, you know. So it's pretty cool. And when did, when did you first get your start in singing? When did Actually, uh, with a band called Houndstooth in February of 07. So um, professionally, I've only been singing since 2007, but I've been singing all my life and knew that's what I wanted to do, but I didn't have the confidence yet. So, uh, What was the award that they were talking about on stage today when you were oh, performing? Yeah, uh, in 2007, I won Best Female Vocalist for Shepherd Express. And then for 2010, I was a nominee for Best Female Vocalist for Whammy, which is Wisconsin Area Music Industry. And um, so we're going for it again. I'm trying to go for it again for 2011. So I'm trying to, I guess, maybe it's 2010, either one. But whatever voting is going on right now for Shepherd Express, that's what I'm going for. What for is that. Shepherd Express? It's a local, a Milwaukee local magazine, and like an entertainment magazine. It's a free magazine that they put out at, gas stations and different stores and things like that and they always have listings of all the different shows that are happening in the area whether it's theater opera or um, live music you know rock band country band blues band it's all listed right in there and what's happening what's you know, the latest and greatest in the area and who are some of the people that have influenced your music oh um, my music well my influences stem back to like um kenny rogers and um uh, I want to say like Dolly Parton, and I love Janis Joplin, and newer artists, you know, I liked um, Sugarland, and Mar Martina McBride is probably one of my favorite female vocalists of all time, and even crazy heavy metal music, you know, I liked all kinds of different rock and heavy metal and hair, 80s hair bands, things like that. So it really comes from all types of things, you know, I, I guess uh, all my influences are, yeah, there's some musical influences, but life experience and it all comes together in what we do, because we really don't just primarily do blues, we mix it up a little bit and do country and rock. And our original music that we have, you can see, you can hear a lot of the mixture. It's not really one or the other genre, it's a, it's a very cool mix of, of tunes that um, young or old, I really, really believe that really gets into it. So that's nice. You had two original songs that you wrote that you performed. Yes. Can you tell me about those songs and where they came from? Yeah. Uh, my first one that I wrote is called Man on the Edge, and that was about a homeless man that I met uh, many years ago. Um, and he inspired me. It was just a very brief moment that I met this person, but it was... Um, very touching and it was enough to get my artistic juices flowing and that's where that song came from and the second one that I wrote is called where I've been and that one actually has to do with domestic violence and it is um, the story of my life basically is what it is and what happened in my past and so I I'm hoping that I can reach out to other women, what I suppose whether it's men or women, whoever's being abused, and um, they can hear that and maybe get some strength from it and can walk away from what is happening, you know. And uh, actually I do have, I have, we have a brand new one that we did today, it's called A Cold Day in Hell, I wrote that one also, and that's just a fun story that I came up with. And uh, that one's kind of our country, country-ish tune, you know. So and there really is no life, real life experience with that one. That was just more 
uh, a creative story that I wrote. And you guys have an album out now? Did you guys? Not yet. Right, right now we have a demo. We do have an album out with our originals on it. However, it's not. it hasn't been uh, professionally produced, I guess I should want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just something that we kind of burn and we sell them at our gigs and things like that. In December and January, our plan is to continue to write and to get in the studio and do a professional CD where we can sell it online and go to CD Baby and iTunes and mm -hmm. sell it from our website and sell it at shows. Um, so I would say be looking for a new album, a full-length album, in early of 2011, like probably January, February. And if someone wanted to learn more about your music or get some of your CDs, do you guys have a website? We do. Yeah, it's www.octobersoul.com, and uh, everything's listed there. Uh, what what we're all about, who we are, um, our our tour schedule, and um, there's a guest book section. So people, if, if you have come seen our show before, you can let us know what you thought of it. Or um, there, our contact information is on there. So everything, it's a one-stop shop right there. We have videos there that are um, from bigger performances that we've had like at Summerfest and things like that so it's all there and if you could just leave us one message to help with the youth or anything what would that be oh absolutely follow your dreams as uh, it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing or never stop dreaming and believing that you can do it because you definitely can put your mind to it and keep working at it that's all I get to say don't well, stop well thank you I appreciate you taking some time and talking with us and that's Red Style on IndianCountryTV.com. Thank you. 